Mr. Gregory can actually look in the faces of some of these wonderful people who stepped out. He said a little bit, just a little bit more. Dick Gregory live at the promontory. A little bit more. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Gregory. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for coming. And, uh, uh, country's real fucked up. <laughs> be talking about white folks. <laughs> if you can guarantee, I will not be talking about you. <laughs> so I want a few people to believe that it ain't for about 5,000 white folks in America, America, and the rest of y'all is the imposters. <laughs> See, white ain't a color, it's an attitude. <laughs> Give me one more back to it. Now, and if you ain't got trillions of dollars in the bank, you can't have the attitude. <laughs> and most of you white folks, and most of you black folks in here, ain't never seen a white person. <laughs> you mean <just> imitation niggas. <laughs> let me tell you what I mean. If you want to know if you white, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me somewhere. And I don't know how Trump been scared the shit out y'all. Uh. Especially you Christians. Uh. But you know you've been fucking up. <laughs> God shall not kill you let your children go to war. You should change it. God shall not kill unless the white folks tell you. Oh. You know, somewhere. <laughs> and this bullshit here in Chicago. Y'all got to be the biggest fools in the world. Uh. The thing that here's a bunch of punks, ain't never been to war, just walk down the street killing people, and you think the cops in the American Indian Park? They used to live here when this bullshit started. How many of you in this room know that Jeff Ford, head of the Blackstone Rangers, can I read or write? And when Nixon won the first election, he was on the front row of the inauguration. And that don't bother you? That don't, as long as you tell you niggas, do even you black folk want to be that shit? Huh? And when you look at the list of the billionaires that contribute to that punk, the lawyers that they got. What's up, Mo? That white church, Fishy Red, that's where the guns was. And at that time, people were very careful about going and serving the church. And y'all don't understand that shit? Somewhere. Somewhere. And I'll say one thing about Trump. 
white folks listen good. It's ugly as he is if a black woman would have had an ugly boy like that. That nigga never would have been out the basement. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have been in the basement from Chinese born to now. <laughs> I was in New York the other day and walked past Trump and I said, if you get penny for your thoughts, he gave me change back. <laughs> Expect black folks to be kind of, but you been a slave. But you white folks, the black damn it, if you went down and applied for a job collecting garbage, before you get it, you got to bring in your last year's tax return, and here's a punk running for president, Ray. and you white folks scared and think you white. Darren, what's mm. wrong with that? <laughs> but later on, we talk about you white folks and their dogs. I don't know what the shit is, y'all, but I do fucking dog. <laughs> I live across my, 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 the pond, my neighbor, is Steinway Piano. Mm. Up the hill is Ocean Spray. Yeah. Now, them be real white folks. <laughs> them the ones that send your ass to war, but they don't go. And you stupid enough to go? Mm. Especially you black folks go to Korea, the Korea shoot your fucking foot off, and ten years later Korea can open up a store and next door to where you live and you can't open up one? Mm. And you think you grown? Somewhere, somewhere. And black ladies, please, if you know your power, you know your power. You're the only woman on the planet, a black woman in there can take a butter knife and cut that nigga's ties to the rim. <laughs> and you ain't never been to school to learn that. <laughs> and all you ask that punk is who was Melba. <laughs> Somewhere. So black woman, when you kind of change your cut, because a butter knife ain't you sure. You can't cut butter with a butter knife. <laughs> And this black man, he's so fucked up. He's been through so much shit. Baby, you got some good pussy. You ever ask that motherfucker, what is pussy? <laughs> and what is good pussy? <laughs> Every woman got one. Huh? See how that shit work? Booty. What the fuck is booty? Anybody know? Booty is the loot that the pirate takes off the shit. These niggas just make up words. <laughs> You got some good pussy. She, she ought to feel husband for it and motherfucker didn't think it was good. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, but the power that you have, not from the church, from the same God that made the moon, the sun, the stars, huh? Then the fucking mafia going to the Catholic Church every day and ask for forgiveness because he know we're going to do the same fucking thing this evening. <laughs> oh, Father, I wish you forgive me. I killed 12 people last night. And do it quick. I got four more to kill for me. <laughs> and you black men, you need to tell these black women the real shit you do. Huh? Yeah, four PhDs. Millions of dollars in the bank. And a cracker walked up here and said, Are oh, you behaving? Is your fucking mama behaving? Ooh, all right. What's this shit about? Mm. Somewhere, when you know who you are, you all walk around talking about you free. You white, well, you ain't goddamn free. Go look at the stats. In America today, one out of every four women is abused. Mouth abused. Look it up. Cops, one out of every two. So you motherfucking cops don't think you can do this shit if you want to, but you're going to take it right home. That's what this shit is about. Mm. Hey, you motherfuckers coming in. Well, all cops aren't bad. When a lawyer loses his license, you don't say all oh, lawyers are not bad. Mm. When a doctor get this bar, you don't say all oh, doctors are not bad. You're crazy. Somewhere. I was listening to that shit my mama. Oh, I was eight years old, my mama said, Son, I was a white man. And she was buying the fucking talk. Hey, Mary Carey, <laughs> this is the legendary Dick Gregory. He's a little wrong. Well, he ain't a no white man coming in a black neighborhood after midnight. His right, status to come to a fucking chimney. I used to be out there, not because I believed him. I tried to catch him one of them ring deers and cook them. <laughs> 
Somewhere, when you see fucking president get elected, if you believe that bullshit, and put five generals in the cabinet, and y'all don't know we be in war in six months. I'm not talking about you once in school. I'm talking about you once as well educated, y'all. You know. Are you crazy? I'll be honest, I was in the service for three days. <laughs> Yeah, three days. Um, 85 this year. Married 58 years. And you want to look at this yet? I didn't say I was happy. So I go in the army. And I didn't know what shit I know when I'm American. And you black folk, when you when you try and get something, no problem with you that black bump and knuckles. Do what the white boys do. Yo, don't go. You can't be wrong. So, so third day in the army, I got out of that motherfucker. When I was in, wasn't no integration. Oh, white captains and all that shit tell us what to do. Captains stand on the stand like this, 50,000 black folks. And, say, and I want you boys to understand if you get captured by the enemy, give them nothing but name, rank, and steel number. You understand? Well, I don't understand. You don't understand. What's wrong with you, stupid? I might be. <laughs> but, <laughs> You don't understand what I'm saying now. This is my third day in the army. You call the Pentagon and tell them to put on Dick Gregory's record. If I get caught, y'all better change all you fucking used to be people. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody pulling hot water down my back, pulling my fingernails off. I'm 
are you sick? And then the mother gets the eggs. If there's a problem, it should be a shot by the brick. You don't need any problem. If there's a problem, you have to help open this and learn to that. Hey, look at your eyes work for this. You do it. And if you adult that's traveling with a child, it's the first time I travel with one of my children. If you see them things, fall out of you, put your own on first. You're not going to do that anyway. <laughs>
you know how hard it is. If I was in it, I'd be hard. I don't want to mess up. I don't need no exercise. I, I did it with my wife two years ago. 56 years. I don't think I'd leave with that money. God, I ain't never had a thing and had have God. <laughs> I need that money. I might walk around and say, you know what the fuck's wrong with your back? If you didn't know I'm here, they'd hold me wrong back if it's just me now. I didn't know I'm just seeing it just now. You know what I mean? Somewhere, 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 you can like, oh, okay, I know you said. You all don't walk around and come up. I was, we were still 15 years for a white folk guy. But you don't act like that. All them Bibles that we wrote back right then, and you think they wrote it? Please. Somewhere. You not look at your wife over these goddamn dogs. <laughs> you hire a nanny to change your baby's diaper, but the white boy to walk your old dog and pick up the dog shit. <laughs> And credit, who care about credit? That brother, my oldest brother, got five PhDs. <laughs> and he wanted to be white. He moved out to California with the stars here. He, he got a, a, a Japanese guard, and nigga ain't got no credit. <laughs> Shit just got bad now. He called me the other day. Bro, I need to talk to you. They about to repossess my car. I'm going to say, don't park in front of the house. <laughs> <laughs> and my younger brother, that's he can never work. He ain't never had a job. And he don't lie. I would never work for me and my sister last Halloween went by his house dressed as a job. <laughs> he had <a> job. <laughs> I just called, talked to Trump people. They followed all the shows I do. And I tell them, like I'm telling y'all, you know Trump, tell me don't stop fucking with us. The food don't fuck you. No, I don't know who. Look at Jay. He don't stop fucking up the beach shoes and beach and beach. I mean, you might go, if you have 
cooking. Every day, y'all, the sun, we had to warm them up. But we're doing all this here. Every day, you have. And then call, oh, you got it, Lord. That wafer they give you comes in on a prayer plan. Huh? They pray all the way, all the way until they get you. Wrapped in seal for that shit. And they open it up and put it on your tongue. The black shirt, they just take off. And the bishop goes, <laughs> <laughs> It ain't got no nobody in front. The power of the black church, if it's three people for communion, he slapped it and it breaks in three people. <laughs> if it's 10,000, he'll slap it breaking 10,000 people. Now that's power. Somewhere. And so you hear, we're the only country in the world that has good schools and bad schools. They don't have a good Pepsi Cola and a bad Pepsi Cola. <laughs> But they got a good school. You know the goddamn good one. You get a PhD in medicine from Ole Miss, and you get one from Harvard. All over the world, yours is worth more than the one from Mississippi. But you don't tolerate that. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. And white folk love me. You know, if y'all don't love me, you ain't white. <laughs> they love me because they know first, I'll tell you the truth. Second, I don't have no hate. Love so well. And so somewhere, like my children, I live like, on these rich white folk, my neighbors. And somewhere, we stop and think. Now, those, don't too many white folk know me here, but the niggas know me. You know I went to money, I ain't gonna pay you back. <laughs> see, see how it Mr. Berkman, uh, you owe us some money, or you must have the wrong number. <laughs> and I don't know how you keep up to the white folk do it too. Send the child to the Mom, he's not here. You tell the child to lie. Boy, he did a lie to you. <laughs> See how it works? It's that simple. <laughs> and then you black folk don't understand what, what, what they trying to do. Yeah. One nigga lie to get some pussy. What you tell the white folk to control the whole planet? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> They all talk about athletes going over a billion. They're not business people. They're fucking athletes. You try it. You don't know nothing about no goddamn business. All you do is let your old punky ass boys get out there. And when well, I see it slaving all over again, the nigga on the football field picking cotton white boy sitting on the bench with a flipboard trying to act in terms. <laughs> and we woke up, what, two mornings ago and found out that, 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 that the guy in Boston hanged himself. I see that too? Mm -hmm. And they so dumb, they said, well, we looking for a suicide, now what can you leave a fucking suicide note in a jail cell that y'all can not find it? Right. <laughs> I think it's long as long as you put him up to do that here. Do you know that two days before they found him dead, did you know he, that case of those other murders, did you know the judge do that shit out? And once they found him dead the other day, you know what the law is about? If you appeal it and you die, or the judge died, all that shit is thrown out. So when they bury his ass, it's the day of the morning. He don't go as a convicted murderer, he could mm -hmm. That's the law of life. So somewhere, when you start thinking about it, what does that mean? Papers got to pay him all this money. Yeah. The insurance got to pay all this money. This is this shit is going on. So somewhere, when you stop and think who you are, and I said, why do you love me? I went to the what was it, Budapest. Three weeks ago, they want to pay me $250,000 to be their dinner speaker. Then they come up to me for lunch. I said, what kind of lunch is it? will give me another $100,000 if you speak. Now, I'm not like most of you Y'all be happy. I'm going to get in my bed and say, uh, what do you want me to talk? Whatever on your mind. I said, well, I'll be 
What happened to the albinos after high school? All who did is the white people see the albinos, and then they just disappear. I don't know where the fuck all that. I ain't never seen one shopping in the grocery store in the evening. I've never seen one on the airplane on the night road every night. I've never seen the albinos. years old and I ain't never seen a baby pigeon. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> well, that's what you are of an outburst and that's even baby crocodile, baby elephant, baby hawk. How somebody else do a baby pigeon? <laughs> <laughs> well, man, you just say you feel like you like that and you're talking about something. <laughs> See, my folks really don't know you because you be on best behavior when you're at work. <laughs> Some niggas can't get to work on time with a baby I get in the more I keep my dude and kid the early I get off to the fast time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm somewhere. See us in Rome up. Who in this room know that? That coffee was invented by a black man in Rome. And why? It was a big And did you ever get in the comedy series? And do you notice all the stores in Sears? And then some folks took them to court, set them court. To see it, how some Robux names not on it. Mm -hmm. And if you never get a deal from Sears, you have to see Sears and Robux, or you don't have to pay. Come on, somebody. Goddamn runaway slaves invented ice hockey in Canada. And the guy named Ricky Stanley. Come and look at him and become the Stanley Club. Ain't that the bitch? <laughs> Somewhere. So all you have to do is just be honest with yourself. You don't pray to God twice. You pray one time, and after that, you're in the front of that given. You know you won't get it. It's that simple. And it's called figuring out shit. The number one black higher education institution on the planet is Howard University. Howard University named after a fucking no good white killer named Jill Howard and a man in the And then the woman's school, black woman's school, huh? It's in Atlanta. Spell Who's the name of Rockefeller's mom? You mean there's no black woman in America or in the world worthy of having that fucking school with her name? We got some crazy motherfuckers. Somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Niggas picking cotton. White folks don't know this. Where are you get at? When they crucified, do you know them? You wasn't there then, and if you come back and bug the wrong white folks, they'll kill them again, you won't be there then. <laughs> that ain't no one You wasn't there. Then I look around now, and he bugged the wrong white folks, huh? They're killing the kids and all those Christians be well. Get an electric chair, we all be walking around with big chairs around our neck. <laughs> Somewhere. I used to be for the electric chair, I didn't know. I went to the moon and every time they killed somebody, they got some white priest leading it. I wish I'd get the electric chair and a motherfucking preacher asked me. Uh, can I help you or anything else? You hold my hand, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you don't need to bend out of the appetite. <laughs> let us up. Well, we have to give you some. Well, give me a bottle of wine. One year. 
and act like you angry. Ah! And somebody sitting with you, look at your forehead when you do that shit move up here. That's a different set of muscles than when you angry, that pitches another muscle and drop a gas down there that destroys your nutrition. All that shit's already been taken care of. But you don't know it. So, Dr. King, what a brother. Took on the mightiest nation in the history of the planet and brought it to their knees without another big motherfucker. <laughs> and King, not God, you would be welcome there. But that would be the goddamn thing. Imagine you at home, four children, a wife in the phone range. Goddamn nigga, we're gonna blow up your house and he couldn't call the police because the police made the call. You know, you think about that shit. Huh? Someone, think about it. So I, you know, I say to you, I know who you are. You got some of that power. God made you somewhere. I love to go and I look at you motherfuckers go out and eat and say the blessing. How come you never bless the wine or the whiskey? You had something wrong with it? Somewhere. Somewhere. I used to drink. What do y'all do? Trump <coughs> Every day. I'm an alcoholic. I wasn't drinking and drinking because I needed it. I drink shit because I like it. Those of you that know me, four packs of cigarettes every day. My top weight was 398 pounds. But I don't like a bunch of black folks. Y'all made me. That's why you see me walking down. I ain't never had a front body guard. Always been listening to the front of your body. White folks and black folks stop putting all that kind of creeps on fucking entertainers and athletes. Huh? There's more people who are sitting in this room right now that have done more for the humanity than 99% of all white and black entertainers and athletes. So don't know how to And he took his children with him and watched two of them die. And this year, 2017, they just recognized him on the back of a court. It takes a long time to read their life. Right. Then they all know when they, they honored me and gave me a the shit they call it, Hall of Fame. Put your foot in the shit. <laughs> Walk of fame. Well, cool. <laughs> Two years ago, the first thing I asked the most was, what took y'all so long? Y'all didn't be so happy you did it. Fuck that, what took you so long? I know why. Cool it. You see it work work. Because I've been a bad boy. <laughs> I ain't never used dope. I ain't never had sex with a white woman. And I'm too sick to think it's my love for you. I'm scared of white women. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the movie. I saw Dracula, Wolfman, Frankenstein. And all of them came out of a white woman. I can't get them off of them. See them out of them. Something that my mother said. Huh? She 
said, whenever tell nobody you poor, you just busted. Poor is a mental condition, busted is a temporary situation. Mm. <laughs> so someone uh, and you know, the biggest nightclub on the block in America, and I know it. There was no drugs and all. There was no chasing bitches and all that shit. That's why I think no, that's why I never been in a goddamn scandal. Huh? I said if I get in front of her in the club, I'm not checking out you, sir. I work in the city, girl, I'm gonna bring some bitches in and try to get some pussy. <laughs> that don't even make sense. So much so I just say thank you, brother. To you black folks in this town, y'all the white folks didn't make me. Y'all listen to me when I wasn't even funny, but I got to listen to y'all that pushed me all the way downtown when you couldn't afford to come see me. <laughs> and I just say thanks on this Bill Cosby shit. I know Bill Cosby. I got seven dollars. I would never say he didn't do it. I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. Black and white entertainment now they can do anything they fucking want to do and nobody busts them. Well, they busted him way back then when they killed his son. Huh? Oh, yeah. Busted him, because him and Ed Weinberg was going to buy NBC. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. This new shit. This new shit now. Come on. What they didn't tell you, that land he owned in Pennsylvania got more oil than Kuwait. Huh? Huh. That's what this shit is about. Huh? That's what it's about. So this is the game. So somewhere, somewhere, Y'all have to understand that something is fixing to happen. You know, y'all can feel it, feel it, feel it. How many y'all in this room? Well, no, I won't say that. I got to hear so much. Uh-oh. I this, I can see you in the night. With your church. There's a universal order. But I don't know if it's up or down, if it's a man or one, I don't know. Niggas walking around talking about children and having children. What the fuck are you talking about? What are these little young girls? Well, when God was looking for a woman to put Jesus in, he picked Mary. Mary was 13 years old. What the fuck are you talking about children and having children? That's the one part I like. The universal God. He's gonna pick a 13 year old girl and put her in. And you don't tell me I can't get some 14 year old girl. Fuck you. You know Somewhere.
then y'all won't think you stupid enough to believe that Trump is out there, then it ain't some big shit. Okay, now you can throw that on the floor. What paper is that? Discover and classify as a planet in 1930, Pluto. That's how long they've been tracing this thing since 1930. Okay? That's why it's on this magazine. Most of y'all don't even know what the fuck is going on. 1930. Okay? USA Today said 1930. Now, all over the world, all you Christians, you you've been supposed to be stable. The Economist, one of the better economic magazines on the planet. Can you see the date on that? <laughs> All right, the date says February 11, 2017. You can Google that. <laughs> this is one of the, in the world, the money magazines. Now, if you look at it, you see, see Putin with the lipstick on? You can laugh if you want. And you see here, Trump sitting over here, just lipstick kisses on his head when you see it a lot. Show me all this. All over Europe. Okay, why are y'all scared of this punk talking about God and all that stuff? You shit. <laughs> now, this is the hottest thing in Europe, okay? Putin in the back naked. Trump smiling in prayer. <laughs> Laugh if you want. Y'all scared of this fucking trick here, and that's what they're doing all over Europe. It's the hottest thing you can do somewhere. Trump ain't nothing but the shadow. You get up tomorrow when the sun come out and look at the shadow of your house, the shadow is bigger than the house. But when the sun go down, the shadow disappears. And that's what the fuck you scared of? Mm. Someone. Thank you, brother. Life magazine. That uh, the guy that killed the cop in Dallas and killed the president. Now we're gonna have to see this when you in the back. Now hold it up. Let me see it. Now can y'all see the body shadow? Can you see it? Yeah. See the body shadow is going backward. Huh? Now look at the nose shadow. It's going forward. See it? Why? That's a trick picture. The head don't fit the body. And that's what they said all over the world. Fucking country you live in Okay? And that's what Trump. He don't even know he didn't get elected. All he did was look at the numbers. That's what this is about. And you see it? Please. You see it right here? And all you got to do is Google Life Magazine. And you see it for yourself. Someone. Thank you, brother. Someone. Now, how many of you all in this room know that 1.5 million black men is missing? Any of y'all know that? Any of y'all know that? Five or one million black men is missing. Hmm? Some of them. And where are they? They're up there on that planet, right up above us. How do you know? Walking post. Yeah. I thought I had it to do. Some of them. Some work. No. You can't see 
Il est hors de moi. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a au cas où je dis Ça, quoi Il me dit que c'est un livre, il me dit que c'est... Yeah, fuck it. What's that guy from the Chinese? Bear or something? They said it that they just keep it for a certain time. They were million dollars a year. So they had to send it fucking back to China. My folks showed up two days in the snow to wait by high to get it. So you have to follow the change this and let these ignorant motherfuckers fuck up everything. Somewhere. You can make a difference. So what? Uh, My brother Herm is thank you so much. And Felicia, Felicia Evans, one of the best gospel singers on the planet. So, what is your next? Get it, baby, we know. Don't 
got to fight him back in the crisis. Call 911. And don't let them other folks talk to you. This is me over here. I live 2222 Frankie. Don't come to that. I live 4 to Frankie. Fuck that shit. He said, what I'd like for you to do is send me nine of the white racist motherfuckers. Oh, I'm going to the bag. In the bag, bless him. You don't want to miss him. I'll be on the porch with the fucking night on. Look at the gorilla. Come at the light here. Look at the gorilla. Come on, sister. Come here. 
Look at the gorilla's lips. See how that's razor blades. You ever seen about that? <laughs> and you black folk, you know you ain't got no lips that thin. Huh? But yet still they convince you you look like this motherfucker. <laughs> but what I suggest you all do is go to the zoo tomorrow. <laughs> and take a crack. And look at this motherfucker. Thank you much. I just want to show you who you are. Who you are. Who you are. Who you are. People can't see it, but I can tell them what you're looking at. Let me see what you're looking at. There's a bigger picture of the price list for that. Now, I have never committed a crime in my life. Throw that on the floor. tribute. Almost tribute. Can you see the date? Call the tribute. March 10th, 1978. March 10th, 1978. Okay. Down here. You throw that body parts. You think you left? <laughs> you throw that on the floor. Call the tribute. By late J. Edgar Hoover ordered the Chicago office of the FBI to develop measures to neutralize black comedian D. Gregory and suggested the measures could include. Let me tell you about God. I can't stop you. Let me tell you about the real God. The most powerful dog pimp punk that ever lived, J. Edgar. He sent this telex to the head of the FBI here. I got it before they did. You hear me? I got it before they did. I'm the one that gave you the Chicago Tribune. And then I called him prophet. I said, you'd be better off taking a ladder with a hammer, crawling up trying to knock the skull. Son, I'm just guy in the fuck with one creature head up in my hand to Now, I want to show you how Trump got the money, got the votes. Open it up. Then look at it. Real good. Can you see that? The, what that says? No. Please read it. Election computer Google gives Gregory 9 million votes. Election. I ran for president in 1968. They shut all your fucking computers down at midnight because it was showing I'm the next president. <laughs> now, read what it says. Listen, that's the Wall Street Journal. No, tell me what you're thinking. It says, some... No, no, no. Okay, we start right here. It says right here, election computer goose. Wall Street Journal of Okay. The electric computer goose gave Gregory 9 million votes, Wall Street Journal. No, they got to know what paper was in. The Wall Street Journal, 1923. Listen to this, then y'all know some shit. This is what the Wall Street Journal said. Again, it says the Wall Street Journal, 1923, current file, November 7th, 1968. The election computer goose gives Gregory 9 million votes. In the state of Pennsylvania, and they shut him down. And y'all sitting here thinking your fucking ass is free, huh? And this is what they do? You think it's free? 
had had the Wall Street Journal not ran that I wouldn't have known. Like Trump don't know. And he knew all along where it was going when you thought he was stupid. He is stupid. <laughs> but when the powerful folks take over, they do whatever they want to do because you ain't nothing but a bunch of scared punks. Huh? No, we're not. Some of them. Oh, no, we not. <laughs> okay. No. I know. Okay, so you sit by with your little tiff-ass job and you have to pay taxes, but he don't. So you ain't gonna call the motherfucker and say, I'll pay you and he pay you. <laughs> I said, no, we're not. There's a whole bunch of us who think just like you. I didn't say you didn't. All right. I didn't say you didn't. But why are you so fucking upset? Something you wanna do, right? <laughs> Civil disorder operation. 
Lantern Spider. The 26th. This is the order that came from the United States government to kill King. Okay? Right here, and all you got to do is Google it and you'll see. The date was March the 28th, April 12, 1968. The commanding general, U.S. Army Intelligence Command, attended ITD of Fort Hollowberg, Maryland, said the attached after action report covering the civil disorder operation, Lantern's Fight, March 26, 12, April 28, is forwarded per the requirement in the USA INTC OPLAN 100-68 for the command. And it was signed. L.J. Bridges, CPT. This is the order that went out to kill King from the military. Okay? Now all you can do, you know what it is, you can go on and see it while y'all walking around talking about the communists and all this bullshit. Huh? It's happening right here. And so I thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I hope that when you came at this point. So, I'll leave you as a father of ten black children. And I didn't use that as an excuse. I was just getting the phone book. I was in London and the guy said, I called your number and you in the phone book. Uh, what about you? Two? Oh, I didn't pick up the phone. What kind of call? Did you get the same kind of idea? I was on the call and I was like, uh, is it getting rid of that rich nigga community? You got the right number. <laughs> I said, who is he? He said, he's my daddy. Well, your mother there, is she here? Tell her I'd like to stick my dick in her mouth. You know what she said? My dad would too. <laughs> <laughs> just, just understand. Children. They're not born that way. Children. I'm in LaGuardia 10 years ago, and I see this white woman, this little girl, looking at me. And children are She said, your name is Dick Graham? I said, yeah. See, my mother said you had a tail. Do you? Tell her yes, but mine's in the front. <laughs> so again, we need you. And your body is valuable because it's made by the same folks that made the moon, the sun, and the star. So when you leave here, until you can tonight, Check your check out. If you ain't got a check out, draw one. And write your personal check. $1.5 billion dollars plus. You can sign it. And put it in your pocket or your purse or your wallet. And as long as you don't take that motherfucker to the bank, it's good. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> take it to the bank. They ain't got enough on me to work your way. Once you do that, you've got to act like a vegan animal. All that cutting shit, all that bullshit, forget it. That's the power that you have. So to all of you, it's a hell of a room. I like this room.